Hello everyone, hope you're doing great. So today I'm very excited, I'm very happy. The reason is that Midjourney has released its latest version, version 6. They call it Alpha, but if you go to Discord, it says version 6 beta. So that's a dispute or that's a typo, I don't know what's, what's the case, but I'm excited to try this out. And I have tried this out and have shared a bunch of examples. If you go to my Twitter account, it's your Pahadi boy. You can see the comparison that I've done. So let's dive into it. So first and foremost you see this image i created this using mid journey so if you have ever tried mid journey or if you have only seen the images you might be aware of the fact that mid journey is not good with the text it can create cinematic images it can create minimalist images it can create all sorts of images but it can never write the exact text you that you want it to write on the image but now i think we are capable to do that or at least in most of the tests that i've performed it was able to do like 60 to 70 percent uh perfect perfect uh text so yeah let's dive into this uh, whole thread that i created so a little bit of like uh, information on the mid journey latest this latest version v6 this is called v6 alpha yeah i thought it was beta but yeah, it, it's alpha and the the thing that we were able to do with uh, mid journey version 5.2 were specifically two things that we can't do anymore uh in with this model the things were like a zoom out or out painting so we were able to do 1.5x or 2x zoom out or out painting in version 5.2 but we can't do that anymore with this new version similarly the, the case was with the upscale option so we could we could do upscale 2x or 4x at the moment we can't do that we have we are uh, given some other options but the specific 2x 4x and even the custom zoom is not there anymore so they have said that these features will come out in the few months time but at the moment we have the options to just upscale subtle and upscale creative upscale subtle is like uh, upscale upscaling the same image without with very little or no modification upscale creative will modify the image to some extent or maybe to a very large extent so that's the few that these are the few updates that i had about the um, version uh, v6 now let's dive into the comparison so here is the comparison that i did uh, with v 5.2 the previous version so this image was created using version 5.2 uh, and this was created using v6 the same prompt was used in both the cases the prompt was basically uh, desert sand dune slope blah 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 st little snake but the main highlight was atmospheric light daytime so if you see in this image of course it's a daytime but there is no uh, no much uh, that that there is no cinematism you know there is no set cinematic aspect or there is no atmospheric light or i mean the, the how you can identify this is a daytime you need very bright sun right so that golden uh, sun feeling or lighting which v6 was able to nail similarly for this image i use the same atmospheric light and daytime so i i'm quite ha happy and satisfied with the results uh, similarly for these other examples where i wanted to create a character sprite sheet or character sheet or sprite sheet whatever you want to call and yeah both the cases v6 version 6 performed way better and more realistic or more uh, re uh, close to what we usually see in the minecraft game uh, so yeah these were the a uh, few other comparison that I did so skin is more uh, you can see the skin is more uh, closer to what humans actually have you can see a little bit of hair on uh, Queen uh, late Queen Elizabeth II's face and uh, yeah I think there are other things where I want to talk about but yeah the, the coolest thing would be the text so let's go to the text part yeah so let's let's talk about the text and yeah so here is a prompt called uh, where, where I ask it to create a company's logo uh, the name of the company is Mango yeah they're very subtle <laughs> and it did that then letter A and then this cat image with a text saying meow and spaceman yeah it was not perfect but yeah at least it, it wrote that cutie kiwi and then it's tis the season uh, cute green Christmas tree 3d illustration and yeah it nailed that and yeah just a uh, quick announcement or promotion that if you want to read uh, more about these ai tools or ai technologies subscribe to my newsletter uh, it is on in the description or the first comment and yeah thanks for watching this video i will be doing a lot of other uh, examples and yeah take care